can be defined as a portion of a line that has a fixed starting point but no end point. It extends infinitely in one direction. The, the fixed starting point is called a vertex. Trigonometric vocabulary. An angle is the amount of space between two rays. The starting position of the ray is called the initial side of the angle. The ending position is its terminal side. An angle is said to be in standard position when its initial side is on the positive x-axis and its vertex at the origin. Its terminal side may fall anywhere in those four quadrants. A negative angle is an angle formed by rotating the initial side clockwise. A positive angle is the angle formed by rotating the initial side counterclockwise. Coterminal angles are angles who share the same initial side and terminal sides. Now, if angle alpha is equal to 35 degrees, we're going to generate a coterminal angle by adding a full rotation to angle a full rotation of 360 360 degrees to angle alpha we call that angle beta and 360 plus 35 is 395 so alpha and beta are coterminal angles these are the frequently used Greek letters to name angles in trigonometry. Theta, Alpha, Beta, Omega, and Gamma. A quadrantal angle is one that is in standard position and has a measure that's a multiple of 90 degrees or pi over 2 radians. A quadrantal angle will have its terminal lying along on the x or the y axis. Different example of quadrantal angles 360, 90, 180, and 270. Here's an example of an acute angle in standard position. Acute angles are less than 90 but greater than 0 degrees. This is an example of an obtuse angle in standard position. Obtuse angles are between 180 and 90 degrees. And this is an example of a reflex angle in standard position. Here's an example of a quadrantal angle in standard position. All fours are examples of angles in standard position.